Hello everybody. Today I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. I thought I might make some, well I do know what I'm doing. I want to make some ephemera for these garden journals that I've put together. I haven't done anything since the last video I did on them and I thought well it might be nice to do something. I'm sure I'm not alone at the moment. I just finding it hard to get going to craft um, I don't I mean I, I kind of know why but it's it's a weird feeling like you want to do something but you just you know you just can't get yourself going so I thought well the best thing to do is start so what I'm going to do is make a few embellishments for those books and I've done this before I did a, a blog post for Helma on this a while ago now and I've just got a sheet of paper, it can be any kind of paper. I've just used some Distress ink which is the walnut stain and just, whoops, just gone around it like that and darkened it a little bit just so I didn't have to go and tea stain it or anything. I just need to find the lid for my ink. It fell on the floor. And I don't want it drying off. Where did that go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Right, so that's what I've done so far. Now, from all the pages from the books, I have I have these sorts of things. You know, we all get those when we're doing journal pages where we rip ends off or cut ends off. So I've got a lot of those. I also have a bag of end bits from, you know, just from my cart. I have some book page pieces that were in my cart as well. Uh, there's some more little end pieces that I can use. And I have already taken a few and done some stitching on them. Can you see that there's straight stitching, there's um, this zigzag with lots of little stitches in it. I've got green on one side and like a yellow colour on the other side. And so I've done that so that I can use those in my embellishments. I tried to just stick with light colours that would match the book so there's a couple more of those there. I have lots of little pieces here and bits um, just end bits that I've ripped up from the pages in the books I also have some more um, book paper type things here I've got these are uh, like the inside of a book cover I think this one like here it's like one of these things and I've just ripped a few pieces up. Those two have been inked a little bit. That one hasn't. I also grabbed a few pieces of scrap paper and ripped it from the Couture Creations My Secret Love paper line. And this was paper number 12. Some of the off cuts because I thought the green would be nice on it and a little bit of color, not too much color though on this one. Um, and that one's got a leaf design. So I've used some of those. It's got script on the other side as well. So there's some scraps. I have some CD envelopes. I made these a while ago. They've got that plastic um, tablecloth pattern on them. I may use some of those. I grabbed six out of those in case I use that, some of those as well. So we're just going to start with this. Oh, I think I have... Oh, yes, I do. I have some tea bag fabric here as well, which is, you know, just like that. But that's really nice to use on embellishments. So I'll take one of those out just so I don't forget I've got it there. And then we just start. We just start with whatever you want. Okay, we'll start with a bit of decorative paper. It can be as um, small or large as you like. 
um, like that. Just spacing them apart. You can space them that way if you want as well. It's quite all right. That's a long one, but it's okay to have all different sizes. This one's got a bit more color on it. Uh, what I might do is just add a bit of color to them like that to some of them, not all of them. Like that. Um, kids have finished school here now, the children have. They did have another, in our state, they did have another week to go before the Easter break, but they've decided to give them all a um, pupil-free week just so that, you know, they don't have to go this next week. Okay, so we'll do that. can add a little bit of colour. So I've got James at home and, and that's nice. And he's down there playing his game. He's moved his um, gaming stuff into the living room now. <laughs> So he can just <laughs> enjoy himself. So we'll have to just wait and see whether they go back to school after the Easter break. The Easter break was originally just two weeks, but it's three weeks now. Um, whether they go back or whether they do online learning after that, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, I want to do a bit of this. Uh, and this is just a zigzag and I can use this either way showing the green or having the yellow like I could just uh, do that there that there like that My husband's still at work though, which is good, because he's uh, he's had so much time off this year, really couldn't afford for him to have any more time off, and so it's good that he is still working. Very good. A lot of people can't go to work at the moment because they work with other people he's in the sort of situation where he tends to work by himself so um, hopefully he'll be able to keep going as long as possible my parents are all isolated in their little village now so that's good. Well, it's good, but, you know, we don't get to see them now. So, but as long as they stay there, they'll be fine. And so you might hear little children because there's little children in their yards playing which is nice to hear. Okay, a little bit of this. That does, because it goes sort of translucent, it can just go on top. And I'm just getting a feel for it. So I've got six books. Oh goodness, my fan's on. It's a bit, a bit warm today, so I've got six books. So you know, I can do this page, and then I can do another page totally different, and then mix them all up, sort of thing. Kind of like it underneath a bit, I think. Yeah, underneath. Like that. 
and you can glue these down that's how easy it is you just I've got some Hellmark tacky glue in my bottle here uh, let me just show you the original bottle you can use a PVA glue too if you want that's it there Hellmark craft glue tacky craft glue I love this stuff and I just put it in these soft squeeze bottles because they're much nicer on whoops much nicer on my hands you know the bottles aren't quite so hard and they have a more narrow tip on them so let's just like that because it's just paper on paper it glues down really nicely like that so I hope you're all keeping well I think it's important we do craft to be honest because it's easy to get in a bit of a, a slump or a, a bit of a rut you know where mm. you're not quite sure what to do with yourself it's so easy and then you don't end up doing anything so I think even if you can just do one thing a day it would be a good thing I've been making some masks for my family my you know for myself and for my husband and for James um, so I've been doing that I I used a tutorial and a pattern that I found online um, like I have a couple of dust masks but honestly dust masks aren't very protective I mean they're okay if you've got nothing they're great if you've got nothing else but I I just thought I haven't got that many and they're not going to last long I thought I might like to make some so I had a look around in my stash here and to my surprise well it shouldn't be a surprise really but I don't have a lot of plain cotton fabric <laughs> I have lots of, you know, girly, pretty, sparkly type of fabric. <laughs> but of course, I don't have a lot of plain cotton fabrics. Um, but I did find some. And I tried to get a really tight knit cotton, kind of like quilting fabric, to be honest. I, I found some pieces that I think Hazel had sent me. A while ago and I found a bit of chambray that I used and I also oh I also found a navy blue pillowcase that I've had for a long time but you know it's doesn't get used that often um, so I've used that as well uh, I've put most of them away but I've got I've got the pillowcase one still here because that was the last one I made I can show you what that looks like um, that's it it still needs its elastic in it and it that's goes like that and it's got the wire I've put the wire this is the one it's uh, Olsen I think it's called the Olsen and um, I'll put a link to it below it's a hospital designed it and it's got a pocket that goes all the way through there see and you can put a filter inside um, for extra protection and then you just fold the ends over and sew them and insert your elastic to your desired length once you've made it and then I've just put a, some wire and it's just it's this one I got from an op shop I don't know what the gauge is but you can see there it's it's fairly bendable 
so I'm not quite sure on the gauge of it. But all I did was I curled the end of it like that and then laid it across the top seam allowance and zigzagged over it all the way on the seam allowance. So it's got a little curled end here, zigzag, zigzag, and a little curl end there that way it does have movement but it can't fall out because of those curled ends um, this one still needs a couple of ends trimming but they work wonderfully well and you know even then you can stick something else inside of them if you still want a little bit more protection so I've been busy making those I thought that was a good thing to do because I Strangely enough, at this time, frivolous things don't seem to be on my list of things to do, as you know, that we would normally kind of be making. I want to aim at more useful things. Um, I'm wondering whether I'm the only one thinking that way, you know, concentrating on our garden a little bit more at the moment. So I have to get out there this afternoon and do some gardening. And journaling is a good thing to do, making journals and things, especially if you intend on using them. You can you know, perhaps keep a record of your time at the moment. So I'd be interested in how you all, you know, what you're making right now. I'm also going to do some of my um, paint by numbers. I've had that for so long. It's almost embarrassing how long I've had it. But we did have a hot summer. So I wasn't able to do it in the summer. But I, I have done some on the weekend. Uh, it is a long process the paint by numbers and something I'm not used to as well so but if you're looking for something you may want to you know a long term project at this particular time something like that would be excellent I'm thinking I may have to do a progress video on it. I just don't feel like I've made a lot of progress on it, that's all. Oh, I also made some words. I typed up and printed out some words for the garden book. I just went on Pinterest and had a look and see what kind of words I could find and then typed my own up for that. I think it is important to get your mind off other things and do a bit of crafting because it can make you anxious if you're not, if you're not having any kind of creative release, especially if you're used to it um, or for people that might suffer from anxiety and things like that. I think making yourself do a bit of crafting would be a good thing. I've been watching some nice channels lately to get, you know, to, to stay, give a, a nice calming effect. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, let me see if I can remember the names of them. Um, if 
I can't. I'll have to put it on the screen. Uh, and I am not quite sure how this one's pronounced, but it's I think it's Bealtine Cottage or something. That's it's it's an Irish a lady from Ireland cottage permaculture cottage garden and it's just a very relaxing channel to watch and that's what I've been watching and it's really lovely and then it's another one hop along hollow that's another one but I've been watching that one for a while now but that's a lovely calming sort of YouTube channel. They happen to be gardening ones. I don't know. I seem to be drawn to that at the moment. And then there's oh another one I've been watching just for a little while. Uh, oh goodness, I can't remember the name. I will have to put it on the in the description or on the I'll put it on the screen. I really can't remember. Been watching it for a month or so, I think. Um, but the gentleman's manner is very calm and very relaxing. It's really, really nice. And that's what I'm after at the moment, just calm and relaxing and just... Nothing noisy, nothing sharp. <laughs> nothing sharp, nothing yeah, overwhelming or things like that. Okay, so I have that. And now with that I've got some words here. Beauty, reaping, joy. Uh Stop and smell the flowers, digging the soil, flowers, planting, happiness, grow, live, love, grow, garden, love, dreaming, take time to smell the flowers, buzzing of the bees, the giving of the land, precious life, beautiful blossoms, abundance, learning, butterflies, sunshine, taking time, seeds, seeds and more seeds, harvest, thankfulness, gratitude, contentment. And I thought they might be nice to use and I've just printed those on some copy paper so I'll just gently you know, darken those just a little not too much you can use any words you want anything that makes you feel good and calm so if you've got any channels that you think would you know be nice and gentle and relaxing like that put it in the comments below because I'm sure other people are looking for nice channels to watch at the moment and I, I seem to be drawn to those rather than crafting channels for some reason um, which is strange because I've always loved to watch crafting videos and I have been trying to watch a couple I just don't seem drawn to it right at the moment and, you know, even with crafting, um, I don't know. Okay, that looks about right, doesn't it? Oh. Yeah, oh, that's just another sheet of the same thing because I've got six books here. Uh, I might just cut those on here. My old cutter. trim them up a little bit I think this is not the best cutter I got it op shopping I 
found it for a couple of dollars a while ago. I mean, it's good, but it's not great. I'm like, and I haven't been op shopping for a while. Not for quite a few, I think. Oh, it's been a while. No, I'm going to use scissors, I think. Um, I think the last time I went op shopping, I was going to do, I was going to play along with Al John's Um, I forget what it's called now. She's doing a, a some sort of. She's challenging herself to make a journal. Um, I'll put it in the on the screen what it was. I forgot the name of it now. I was going to do it, and then I thought, no, I've got too many other things I want to be going on with. I don't want to be too strict on myself when it comes to making things, especially, and I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I decided not to do that because um, now, at the moment, you know, it's hard enough just doing what I want to do, let alone something I have to do. Just these don't have to be perfect, I don't think. These scissors are so big. <laughs> I do like them. They're no good for cutting fabric, though. I have to tell you that. If you're cutting longer pieces of fabric, they're not good for that because they go out like that. When you've got fabric, you kind of need something a bit that you can get closer. These ones aren't good either. You need proper fabric scissors for cutting fabric. These are great for paper crafting though. I do enjoy using them. I don't know whether I showed them or not. I did on Instagram. Beginning of the year I treated myself to some new scissors. So I got three pairs of these in different sizes. They're the big ones. They're the medium ones, and they're the baby ones, and I keep these ones on my sewing machine. Um, but I also recently got these lovely ones from Couture Creations. I call these my bumblebee ones because they're so cute. And I love these for fussy cutting. They're really good for fussy cutting. These have got serrations on them which was, it was kind of hard to get used to at first because, you know, scissors don't really slide, but I think that's why they're serrated, so they don't slide around, and it, I think it helps keep things fairly straight. I think. That's not straight. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. Don't know whether I've printed these a little bit too big. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to worry too much. They're for my own personal use. These journals. I've got six of them, so each journal should be for two months of the year. So I'll have a full year's worth of writing and see how my garden goes. Because it's important to have hope for the future, isn't it? That might be enough for this page, actually. Let's have a look. Oh, I have no idea when the camera turned off and I don't know why. Oh, oh well. 
Um, I'm up to putting a bit of cheesecloth on and I'm putting that under the words so and I can just put it on like that did I I didn't I didn't ink around that did I by the look of it not that I want a lot of inking Okay, so that's basically what I'm going to do, put bits of cheesecloth under there like that and then we'll have all these little embellishments and for that I'm going to use the quick dry adhesive I think because I want the glue going through the cheesecloth so I'm going to put Come on, glue. And my room has a fan on and my window is open at the moment. It's important when you've got a stronger glue to have those things. So we'll put that there like that. And that goes straight through the cheesecloth. Like that. Yeah. And then, you know, you can trim that cheesecloth down. You can add, like I said before, whether I, <laughs> whether that was on video or not, I'm not sure. You can add a little flower there like that. Put a little center in it or something. And then, of course, um, you can keep it on the sheet and file it away until you're ready to use it and when you're ready to use it you can get yourself a ruler and just start ripping it or you can cut them. I've been doing all my ripping with this ruler and I love it. Um, it where's the piece to show you? <laughs> um, oh these. These are all ripped with the ruler and I love the the edge it leaves it's like using you know one of these things but you don't have to use one of those things you just use the ruler to rip it on the metal edge side it seems to work wonderfully so I've been using that a lot that was a, a new purchase this year as well when I bought my scissors and so was this not as impressed with this I'm really not I don't find that very sharp at all um, I don't know why just it's not you know it's all right it's all right for I use it for cutting threads a lot actually when I'm sewing so <laughs> um, which it is it's a thread cutter I guess so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be back I'll have to check um, what I missed on the video For some reason my camera keeps turning off and I don't realise it so I do apologise for that. I've made a second sheet, that's the one we were working on before. I added flowers and of course a little bit of glitter because my stickles is over here and if it's out I use it. <laughs> um, I've done another sheet there, I've ripped one off as you can see out of there. And I just want to quickly show you what I mean that you can use these for. These, of course, are just blank pages so far. I still have a lot of work to do to these. But you can pop these on the pages to decorate the pages. Just something so simple like that can add a lot to a page. You can put it that way, like that. You can add it to an envelope. You can add it to a tag. You can add it to a tuck spot or a little corner. Piece, you can add them anywhere you can add them going that way you know we don't always have to do it on the outside part of the page we can have it on the inside part of the page as well and stick that down it just adds a nice little touch to the journal and very very simple to make and I'm going to try and make some simple things I think um, not overthink things just I'm going to try and get on here every day and make make something just something I think that's important at the moment 
a lot of people do crafting as a therapy and I'm one of those people it just it lifts my spirits it makes me feel happy and I need to remember to keep doing that and I think a lot of people do as well and I hope you do the same thing too find something that you can do every day just to get your mind on happy things so take care everybody and thank you so much for watching bye bye